Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack. In this video we are going to see how we can apply disclaimer to our message in Exchange Server 2016. Basically disclaimers are applied because if someone sent a message to a wrong recipient by mistake so he or she can be notified that they have received a message by mistake. Uh, you can apply a disclaimer such as this email is a property of this 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 company and it contains some confidential information so please do notify on this email address if you are not a correct recipient for this email. This is how we can apply disclaimer and the person may notify you back like he have received a email by mistake. So it is useful to apply disclaimer on every message you sent outside or inside of your organization. So let's move on to our server and see how we can apply a disclaimer to our message in Exchange Server 2016. So right now we are on our server DC. Let's move to our Exchange Server. And now let me open Exchange Admin Center. So in order to apply disclaimer to your message, you have to navigate to a mail flow, then rules and here we can create a new rule. So you have to select create a new rule. Give a name to a rule like uh, Techie Jack Disclaimer and apply this rule if you can select the condition like if uh, the subject or body include this or you have attachment content include or uh, apply to all message or a recipient is a member of particular group or sender is a member of a particular group or located in a particular OU. So here I am applying it to all message so we will click on apply to all message. So this is a condition like our disclaimer will be applied to all messages and do the following. What action you want to create for this condition? I will say app append the disclaimer. Here you have to enter the text for uh, the disclaimer. I have text here. So let me copy this text and enter the text. Specify the disclaimer and click on OK. And you have to select the option Wrap. And I'm just enforcing it and I will activate the rule as well. Do you want this rule to apply to all future messages? Yes. and this is a rule activation date is before the current date and activation date parameter will be ignored that is fine because right now it's 14.53 and rule activation time was 14.30 so we can see here uh, our disclaimer has been applied and the priority of the disclaimer is 3 so let's try to send an email from one user to another and see if we can see our disclaimer or not so right now I am inside a user mailbox that is a jack and let me try to create a new mail I'll create a new mail to jack and one mail to cc to myra checking disclaimer so this is a message and in the message we don't have a disclaimer but when we will send this it will automatically apply disclaimer to this message so let me click on send so email has been sent and if we see here the checking disclaimer was our subject and it was sent to Jack itself let me check the message here it's a message and at the bottom you can see the disclaimer is applied like this message is a property of this, this and may contain some confidential information if you receive this message by mistake, please inform the system manager abc at techiecheck.com. So this is how you can apply a disclaimer to your message. So now you know how you can apply disclaimer to your message. And guys, do subscribe the channel for more upcoming updated videos. And let's meet in the next video.